This is my roundup video of two lifetime deals that you should definitely check out before they are gone. These one launched on September and we're going to check them out right now. Hey, what's up everyone? So these are the two deals that I want to talk about. One of them is legit AI and the other one is a binder. Both of these are on a lifetime deal. And at a certain point, these two kind of cross each other because both of them work with signable documents, but one of them is based for document signing and the other one is more for file sharing even though they do combine some of the features that come along together. Okay. Now, both of these two are on a lifetime deal and both of these two do come with a 60 day money back guarantee. So you can go ahead and test them with all confidence. And if you don't like it, just go ahead and refund it. Right now, this is legit AI and it's a legally binding document signing system that you can start using right now for your contracts, your NDAs and whatever you need to have signed that has to be legally binding. Now, the idea of legit AI is to combine the AI to analyze the documents. Now, that's one of the features I do love about legit AI is that it'll tell you the strong points of the document that has to be signed and where it's weak. And you need to be adding those clauses and things on the document that has to be uh, more robust in this case. Okay. So first off, let me show you the deal that's going on. It starts off at $59. And this is what you're going to get. Now, the first thing I'm going to tell you, you might not like, but tier one and tier two is completely trash. These two plans are definitely not worth grabbing, especially tier one, because you don't get anything. I think tier one is like version one that they launched or a really old version because it's really stripped down from what you get with tier two and three. You honestly get like a different panel when it's tier one. So don't get this. Okay. And tier two, again, it's stripped down, but it, it has a little bit more features, but I would definitely recommend tier three and above. Okay. So depending how many, uh, monthly signatures you need, et cetera, then consider these. I think tier three is the sweet spot for this and you should definitely consider. All right. Now let's jump into legit AI. And the first thing you're going to see is that we have a really robust panel with lots of options available. And that's because I'm in license tier three. If this was license tier one, I would have really few options and it's really lacking the features that really make legit AI shine. Okay. So first off, let me show you a document that I have available here, just to give you an idea where you can use AI, which I think that's the main focus of legit AI. And once you have a document here, you jump into the AI section here and you can be a, you can view a document summary. So you can be the outline key points, which I think it's too many key points to be a key point. That's actually something you have to read out there. So they really need to summarize those key points. Then you have your clause analysis. I like this feature the most because it's telling me what is in this document. So for example, services, recitals, social media and consult period, etc. It's telling me the right points and where that information is on this document. And this is what I love the most, which is the missing key clauses. So it's telling me that these clauses are missing on the document. And if I'm sending this out, I should definitely take a look at this and add those clauses to my document. For example, there's no intellectual property rights, no governing laws uh, mentioned on the document, no amendments, force major, non solicitation, etc. And these are things that tell me that I should be adding on this document. So really, I really like having that there. Then you can also chat with this document, which I think I've seen this in many other deals, but it's there, right? Then you got your obligation alerts, which gives you alerts of what's going on. Now, let me show you how you can create a document with legit. So in this case, if I go to create a brand new document, now, in this case, I have two options to get started. So a sales amendment or a contract management. One of them is for proposals, quotations. The other one's for agreements and NDAs. So in this case, let's do a contract management. Then you have two options. Use Microsoft Word and you have a bunch of templates that you can use or you can use legit AI editor. So let's use this one because that's what we want to showcase. What would you like to do in this case? For example, we can create from scratch. AI contract generator upload or templates. In this case, we can do an AI contract generator. And it's going to take me through the steps here on the chat where it lets me input information that's going to be added to the contracts. In this case, let me fill this out. So for example, if I click on this option, there's several available templates available here that I can use. Let's use this one, a purchase contract. Okay. Let's go to the next step, the date. Let's just say it's going to start today. The next, the end date is going to be the 30th. Hit next. What service or product is the contract for? And I'm going to say for video development to next. What are the names of the first party? So let's just say SAS. The name of the secondary par party, let's just say SAS 2 just for technical purposes. And then what is the jurisdiction of this contract? And I'm going to say, let's do Canada. Let's go next. 
do you want to add additional clauses in this case no but i do have the option to add more and then i can tell it what i wanted to generate so let's go ahead and edit this document and the fields that i've added right now are now inside of here so you can see the name it's sas sas normal and there's sas2 we have the dates already inside of here and then we have the variable fields so that we can input inside of here now in this case the first thing you can do is kind of modify the look of this aspect you can add a cover page you can add text to this images tables and pricing tables to this document and then you have your signees so in this case if i know there's a field that needs to be signed i'll add the section here so i'll do the sign there i'll do the stamp and then i'm gonna add someone else to sign here so in this case let's add another signatory so in this case let's just say test the email is going to be test okay let's go ahead and add it here we go let's go ahead and continue and we have the signing here so let's bring this to the top there we go let's select the second assignee here and we're going to add the variables for this so again i'll add the stamp for this too there we go all right so we have that there now i can also add managed recipients here so senatorials collaborators for this check for approvers there's also the AI feature we can annex here here for example i can upload files to this i give you the document history document versions and the document comments for this particular document so in this case i'm gonna be good to go so let's go ahead and finish the document here we go send for sign let's go ahead and no reminders for this let's go ahead and set the recipient i'll send it to myself let's go ahead and continue here we go i can actually sign it right now or sign later let's just sign right now let's go ahead and continue so here we go let's go ahead and start it takes me to that section let's go ahead and sign it with a normal letter there we go it's signed now i can also add a stamp to this in this case i don't have any saved stamps but i mean i can use one and save it and add it there okay and also the second party is going to receive that document there for signing purposes now that's for the documents there's several features inside of here and there's also additional features that you can take advantage of. like there's a legit crm for all the leads that you're going to get i think this is like an additional purpose I mean, it, that's not the main focus of legit AI, but it's available here. And you have a dashboard, leads, opportunities, and all records. And you can create leads and opportunities, add new contacts, etc. all from there. You got your inbox information here for the recipients. What's going on? Are they checking them out? Have they viewed it? The history, the approvals, and, and all the information you need for documents. There's also the manager documents. You got folders that are separated. You got alerts. You got tasks. You got your customers and vendors. You can create a smart contract, verify on blockchain. And all this is included the repo analyzer, which will let you add a bunch of templates here and it'll analyze it for you. You can contract analyze here and contract review. And there's a lot of details available here that you can check out. Now over to Binder. So Binder is a file sharing system that lets you share files via a link. Now that link will track everything that's going on with it. So you can add a password to it. You can add the times they can download it and a lot of features that I'm going to show you. So the lifetime deal starts off at $39 and you get these available plans. So there's tier one, two, and three, and all the way up to five. And you get these available uh, limits in these plans. Now do consider that these plans are based per month. So the e-signing documents, for example, this one is 10 per month. In that case, if that's not, it's not enough for you, I recommend you check out tier two, three, and all the way up to five. And if you need the additional features, then grab tier three and above. So they're making you buy the tier three if you want to grab the additional features. So I think that's a really bad move for the type of deal this is. I think they should really kind of just focus on the storage and not limit you on the features that you're going to get. But I mean, that's the plans for now. Now. How does Binder work? So Binder works by uploading a file and then it's going to provide you every single detail to lock this file. Now, remember in the beginning, I told you that there's a mix of a signature system. They do have a signable document here, which I don't think that's where Binder shines because that's not their main focus. Now, let me go ahead and add an image here really quickly just for testing purposes. Okay, let me upload that. And then it's going to give me all the available options for this image. So let me show you. Once we're here, we're going to create a link and then it's going to give me all these options available. So recipient group, I'm going to tie it to a group I already created and then I can make an email required. So I mean that that means that they have to input their email to get access to this file. Is there going to be an expiration setting for this? I can pick a date for this to expire. Allow downloads. If not, they won't be able to download it. Just view it. Password protect this. You got your advanced settings for access control. You can enable access to control settings and restrict access. You can edit permissions and you can add access 
via email. For example, if I set my email as an allow list, when someone tries to view this and they input the email, if it's not theirs, they won't be able to access the file. So it's kind of a way to lock in this file. So in this case, I'll just keep it with the email, for example, and the password. Let's do password for this. Let's go create the new link. Oh, let me go ahead and select the group again. Create the link. Here we go. We got our link. Let's go ahead and copy this link. Let's go to incognito mode and let's copy this link. Let's go to incognito mode and test it out. So here's the link. Here we go. It's asking for the password and I'm going to type in password as a password and then it's going to ask for the email. So I didn't lock in the specific email so I can use an email for this. Let's go ahead and continue. And here we go. Here we got the image and I can go ahead and preview it, download it, etc., and do whatever I need to do with that, depending on the features that I enable or disable when I create this. On this case, I can go ahead and disable this manually. If I need to rate later, go ahead and enable it again. I can view the visit count. I can view the actions for this, edit the link settings again in case I need to password protect it or change the password and the details for this specific link. So here it is. We got this email who viewed it a, a few seconds ago. In the contacts, we can view all the available emails ha that have been used to view the links. All right. Now, one thing that is missing is the export feature for these contacts. So I wish they add that. OK, now for the overview, we're going to be able to view all the things that are going on with the links. So the total visits, the engagement contact, the reason visited links, the information of the popular links here, most engaged contacts. We get to view all our files available here. So just a list of all the files we can go ahead and upload here and we can create folders depending on the plan that you're on. OK, then we can also create rooms. The rooms I do like because rooms you can add several files inside of here. For example, this is a room and I can create a link to share that room where all the links to download are available. It can be files, images, documents, etc., where we have them in a specific room, which I do like that. Right. And then you have your visits information here for the links that have been opened up. So kind of overall basic, if you ask me, vendor. But if you need to share documents, images, etc., via a link and have those extra uh, settings that you can set to the link to lock it, add a password, password protected, uh, add emails to it, then this could be a good deal for you. But if not, I think it's kind of basic. So paying 200 bucks to get all these features, it's kind of it's kind of expensive, if you ask me. So I would definitely consider tier one or tier three for this purpose. But if you need the additional features, do consider that. All right. So that is legit AI and Binder. I definitely think that you should consider these two. Remember, there's a 60 day money back guarantee. So in case you don't like them, just go ahead and refund it. And that's a wrap.